Senate investigation on corruption in the armed forces of the Philippines took a stunning fatal blow last week when former Defense Secretary and AFP Chief Angelo Reyes was killed February 7 in an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound to the chest. The 65-year-old Reyes was visiting the gravesite of his parents at the Loyola Memorial Park in Marikina City with his family. Afterward, he instructed his sons to go ahead, saying he would follow shortly. Moments later, a shot reportedly rang out. And Reyes' sons and aides saw the retired general slump his mother's grave with a gun in his hand. And his last words to his sons were reportedly, I'm sorry. Friends and family said the suicide was uncharacteristic of Reyes. Congress had been investigating the plea bargain of a former AFP controller, Carlos Garcia, when a surprise witness implicated Reyes, who was President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo's defense secretary. Manila editor Betting Ligo Delor details the testimony and the allegations against Reyes in PhilippineNews.com. <laughs> Reyes's alma mater, the Philippine Military Academy, or PMA, can lay claim to being an institution with a fanatical passion to adhere to its code of ethics. Its working mantra is, a cadet does not lie, cheat, or steal. Enforcement of the code rests on an honor committee composed of elected members of each class, which in turn elects the chair. Southern California-based PMA alumnus retired Colonel Hermie T. Onkeko reviews the Academy Code and how it may or may not have played into the Reyes tragedy in PhilippineNews.com. A 41-year-old Filipina nurse is on the United States government's top 10 most wanted healthcare fugitives. Susan Bendigo Lim of Davao City has been dubbed by American authorities as the ringleader in one of the biggest health care frauds in California. The mother of two teens is accused of five felony counts with the U.S. District Court for massive health care fraud, having made at least $17 million allegedly by having untrained and unqualified Filipino nurses treat U.S. patients in charging the costs to Medicare or Medicaid. Philippine News Services describes the alleged scam in philippinenews.com. In Pinoy Capital, subtitled The Filipino Nation in Daily City, author Benito Vergara Jr. asks what defines Filipinos in the gateway to the peninsula. Are they Filipino or Filipino-American or both? What pushed them from the Philippines? Why did they choose to plant their roots here? Or did they? Vergara discussed his 205-page exploration with Daily City Councilor Mike Gingona last week at the Daily City Library at the Wembley Branch. The second in a series of cultural literacy events is a project of the Literacy Initiatives International, whose founder, Gemma Nimenzo, explains its objectives in philippinenews.com. You can count the Filipinos in Trinidad and Tobago. Two of them are now one. Marion Salcedo and Romley Mangaran Jr. married last week after a six-month courtship. The couple assured everyone, especially Marion's seven older brothers, that they were ready. Her parents, both from Vico, are now deceased. Rumi is the construction firm supervisor and a 15-year resident of the Caribbean island where Marion arrived two years ago to work at the Hyatt. Correspondent Len Almond and Thornhill shares the couple's Valentine story in philippinenews.com. PhilippineNews.com Top of the News is also on YouTube slash PhilippineNews1.